Hey guys, Hikans here with another World of Warcraft gold making guide. This past weekend I didn't spend much time on WoW since I was out of the house for most of Saturday and Sunday, but still managed to rake in millions. I did log on in the morning and evening to release my auctions, as well as to bid on the black market auction house. In today's video, I thought I'd go over my sales and strategies I use to make gold through flipping, specifically the current BFA BOEs. This is by far the most time efficient and effortless method to make gold. Because of this, myself and other gold makers such as Bragg and Magicus are huge proponents of making gold through flipping. You do need a bit of starting capital and it does carry with it a degree of risk. But once you gain a little bit of experience, the returns you make will far exceed what you can make farming and it can be done in a few minutes each day. So to start, I wanted to quickly go over my sales from the past four and a half days. This is going to be Saturday through today, Wednesday at a little before 2 p.m. So as you guys can already see, there isn't very much here, especially for four days worth of auctions. Uh, there's only 88 mail, and on the first page, 930k in sales. That's mostly due to me not being on as much to cancel and relist if I get undercut, which means less sales, and also the prices being a lot lower than what they were in the last couple of videos. The blockades is down to around 33k, squalls is under 30k, I sold one earlier it looks like at 26k. However the tides did get reset by someone and I managed to get a sale at 87k, which is awesome. But yeah, the other decks aren't doing too well. And the enchants aren't much better. Uh, the ring enchants are going for around 6k. And the weapon enchants are going for between... Looks like around 1.4k to 2.3k, depending on the weapon enchant. The Veiled Crystals did hit a low of around 500 gold, and I managed to pick up a bunch at that price, so... These are still quite profitable, just not as good as they were like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. But the sale I wanted to focus on, uh, since this is the BOE flipping guide, was this Crush Proof Brand Braces. Managed to sell one at 76k. Uh, as you'll see from the TSM accounting data, I bought six of these at around 30k average, which means I spent around 180k to buy them all out. And I've already managed to sell one at 123.7k, and then this one at 76k. So that's a 200k revenue, 180k cost basis, which means I made 20k already. And I have four more of these band braces left to sell. So even if I sell them at like 20k, that's going to be a really easy 100k profit. So that's just one example of a BOE flip. And I think I have a few more sales on page 2, so I'm going to loot these and we'll look at page 2. So here's page 2. Some good news and some bad news. Good news is that the total gold ended up being a lot higher than I expected. A little over 1.5 million gold in sales on page 2. Bad news is that the auctions are a lot older than I originally thought. Some of these are expiring in 24 days, which means they're around 6 days old. So we're actually looking at sales from last Thursday to today, rather than the past 4 days. However, given the amount of time I put in the auction house the last week, I'm quite happy with this 1.5 mil number. So on this page we have four BOE flips. The first one is this Gayong's Gentle Step, which are the male feet. I actually flipped another one, I think in the last video. Um, I ended up picking up two of these at around 37k. 
and managed to flip this one for 95, so that's a nice, easy 60k profit. I also sold another Crush Brew Brand Races on this page. This one for only 38k. But it's one of the ones I picked up for 25, so I'm quite happy with that quick 13k flip. Um, 13k profit on a 25k investment is pretty decent. I usually like to double or triple my gold on BOE flips, but this one didn't work out quite as planned, but I still managed to squeeze out a little bit of profit from it. And then the last two are these, uh, same leather legs, the Nayla Moore's pattern leggings. I managed to pick up two pairs at 92k and 100k, and managed to sell both of those for 142.5k. So around like a 40 to 50k profit on those. Also, when I went to go list these, I noticed that someone had made a mistake posting one, and I was actually able to get a third pair for only 874 gold. So that's going to be really awesome profit. Anyways, now that I've shown you guys some of my sales, I'm going to be hopping on the auction house and showing you some of my strategies. So it's now a little after 7pm on Wednesday evening. I actually ran out to run a few errands and get my hair cut. In the span of the last four hours, I managed to get a couple more sales. I sold another Crush Proof Brand Braces for 76k. Remember that I was already in the green around 20k for my reset, so this is going to put us at 96k in the green. And I still have three more pairs left to sell. Um, as you guys can see, I have two in my bags and one up on the auction house right now. I also sold the third pair of the leather legs, the Nailing Mars patterned leggings for 137.7k. Remember that someone made a mistake on that one and listed it for like, I think it was like 874 gold. So that's uh, pretty much 137k profit. And then sold a few more enchants. I think someone reset the ring enchants earlier today. Uh, they were back up to like 15 or 20k for the mastery ones, but now they're down to 10k, but I managed to get two sales um, for 10k. And then one weapon enchant for 2.6k, which is perfectly acceptable. I think the crafting cost on these is around probably like 1k to 1.5k. I did get the Veiled Crystals for really cheap, so it's probably closer to 1k for me, but the Veiled Crystals are at around like 1k to 1.2k right now, so if I were to craft another one today, buying mats with the auction house, it would be probably like 1.5k crafting cost. Still like a nice 1k profit on these. Anyways, let's check out the auction house real quick Have and see if there's any potential flips. Needs to be at least two centuries old. I did loot all that mail from earlier and ended up with around 9.5k, so I'm going to be capping another tune soon. Actually hit 260 million gold liquid, so I'm a quarter of the way there to my 1 billion gold challenge. It'll probably take me like another year at least to get there, but it's fun to keep track. So this is the string that I'm using to look for BOEs. It's just slash 120 slash epic slash I340. That's going to search for all the epic BOEs with an eye level greater than 340 and um, character level greater than 120. So I usually do a sort by buyout price. That way I can find out the cheapest auctions and work my way down. So to start, I can see a potential deal with these uh, plate gloves. 
as you guys can see, someone undercut two of the item level 340s with a 355 auction. And it's actually 10k less, so that's a pretty substantial undercut. Um, this is actually probably going to be worth buying out at 20k and relisting at here. Um, under this 355 at 55k. Um, this auction is actually expiring in 30 minutes, so we may even like list it for closer to the 370 price, maybe like 100k, and make like a nice 80k profit on that one. So I'm gonna buy that. Oh, and remember to keep in mind that with the BOEs, there's the raid BOEs and the world drop BOEs, and there are other plate gloves, so you need to look at the prices on those as well. Um, it's these, the Oprescu's Gilded Touch. So the 350s of those are going for around uh, between 45k to 64k. And then the 355 is at 75k, so... Buying the other 355 for 20k I think is a good buy. Uh, I'm just looking at both of the gloves. All the other ones are... The 355s anyways are... Uh, 55k or more. And the 350s are 45k or more, so... I think we're going to be able to at least double our gold on that. Um, if not more. These have crit haste, and the other ones have uh, crit mastery, so... I think for most specs that wear plate... The crit haste ones are more sought after. So I think that 20k one was pretty well below value on my realm. And we're going to be able to probably screw up like 30 to maybe like 70 or 80k. Just flipping that item. And that's one really good way to find BOEs to flip. Um, just look for like a normal one that's posted below an LFR version or um, much lower eye level one. Yeah, I think the 340s are LFR version. 355 is normal and then 370 is heroic. Let's look at these male gloves. There's a two pairs posted, one at 25k, one at 34, and then the next highest is 50k. Yeah, I don't think there's any room for profit there. Um, even if we bought this one out and relisted it for like 34k, that's only... I mean, that's less than a 10k profit after the auction house cut, so... I'm going to skip that BOE. Um, cloth ones. So there's three 355s listed at around 30k. And just one 370 at 175, so... We might actually... I might bite all three of these out and relist the 355 for like 100k. That way, if one sells, then it's going to cover the cost of all three. Um, might actually do that. Sure, why not? Let's do it. So we got three of those. Mail bracers. It's another potential deal. Uh, there's one 355 posted at 35k. Next highest is 70k, so we might be able to flip this and double our gold pretty easily. This one's actually expiring in two hours, so I may actually buy this one out, the 35k one, and uh, undercut this one. Just list it at 69, 99, 99, whatever. And then check back like right before I go to sleep and 
if this guy hasn't relisted, just uh, post it for like 100k. Which is still like 50k less than the 370 version. Um, that'd be nice. Uh, if we sold it for 100k and purchased it for 35, we're looking at like a 60k profit after the auction house cut. So, let's try that. Yeah, everything else is getting pretty high in value. I usually try and stick to flips, like purchasing BOEs that are 50k or less, so... I think that's gonna be good for now. If you find anything so, exotic, bring it let's grab these BOEs and throw them up. Have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. Forgot what we said for the bracers. All oh, right, so let's go 64. Oh, I actually have two pairs. That's cool. And I usually like to post these manually. Um, I know I can have TSM do it, but... I like having more control over these prices of the BOEs. So that looks good. Posted it for 48 hours. Actually, I was going to check back in like 2 hours, so I probably should have posted it for 12 hours, but that's fine. So if we flip that, we're going to be able to double our gold. I don't remember what I paid for the other one, but I imagine it's probably 30k or less. And for the plate hands... So this is the one that we picked up for 20k. Now uh, someone had listed it for less than the 340s. So we're going to post it right here. Right under this 355 at a 54k buyout. So 54 like that. That's fine. Boom. So flat sales will get a nice, like, 30 to 33k profit. More than doubling our gold. And then I actually own a bunch of these gloves, so... Hopefully I can move some. Um, so we picked up three pairs at 30.4k average price. And I think we're going to try and sell... Throw two of them up at 100k each. And then the LFR version, I have one of those, I end up picking up for, yeah, I don't actually know how much. I bought these on my laptop, so I could look it up, but let's just throw it out for 74k. So that's kind of my process when it comes to BOE flipping. Um, obviously, some of the decisions are going to be a lot harder to make. Um, I did look out with a few of the BOEs, like finding the leather legs for under 1k and managing to sell it for like, is it 173? Or no, it was 137. So a pretty easy 130k profit. Um, it's more than enough to pay for a WoW token, so... One good flip like that, and you can pay for your wild time, like, every month. And if you do it with a bunch of BOEs, you're going to be able to buy multiple wild tokens and convert all that to balance, buy Hearthstone packs, Overwatch crates, whatever you want. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Hope you guys are all having a great week and I will see you all in the next video. Late.